Hey guys, it's Wes, Not Your Normal Miner here. Today we've got a fun one for you. Today we're going to be talking with you about proxy mining. Say what? That's right. What is proxy mining? Well, that's what we're going to be talking with you about today. We're really excited. Um, we've been, been doing a lot of research, but this is by community request. Um, you guys wanted to know a lot more about proxy mining. If you guys are new to the channel, now's a good time to hit that subscription bell. We really cherish those subscriptions, but that way you can keep up with our latest and greatest. Um, also, if you guys like these kinds of videos, please give us a thumbs up, comment down below one way or another, whether you like it, what you like about proxy mining, what you like about our channel, whatever, just one way or another. If you like things or don't like it, make sure you comment down below. But this video today is going to be talking with you about what is proxy mining. Let's get into it. Hey guys, it's Wes, not your normal miner. Thanks for stopping in. Let's go for a ride. Hey guys, so like we said, we're going to be talking with you today about what is proxy mining. We first learned about proxy mining back in May when we were doing some solo mining of Ethereum over at twominers.com. We stumbled across an address that had came across four solo Ethereum blocks with only 257 mega hash per second, roughly is their average hash rate. Well, anyone who knows anything about mining knows 257 mega hash is not very much hash rate when it comes to the Ethereum blockchain. And finding four solo blocks in 24 hours is a lot. So keep in mind a couple things I want to talk with you about. But this uh, uh, address had proxy detected. This account is using a special proxy server that filters out low difficulty shares. Something to really keep in mind when you're actually talking about proxy mining. Only submitting shares that solve um, the block. Another thing I want you to keep in mind is the block reward for 1.97 Ethereum. Back in May, it was $402. But what we're talking with you guys about today is proxy mining. And basically in regards to Ethereum and in regards to Ethereum solo mining. I do want to say thank you to Alex Cobb for pointing us in the direction of iMine Blocks. Ethereum Stratum Proxy for Dwarf Pool video. Thank you as well for the, the video on how to set up a Stratum Proxy um, in our Not Your Normal Miner Discord. In the description down below, we'll have a link to that so you guys can check out Not Your Normal Miner Discord. But once again, thank you for pointing us in the direction of this video from iMine Blocks. Proxies are nothing new by any means. This video is from April of 2016. But what we're here to talk with you about is this proxy mining and basically what is a proxy miner. What do we know about GPU mining or mining Ethereum or, or solo mining? Well, we have been able to find a couple solo Ethereum blocks with our GPU miners. Um, that is doing it the hard way or the old way. Um, but one thing I do want to say is um, proxy mining is not a guaranteed way. Um, some people's videos can be very deceiving on, on, on this, this type of stuff. So make sure you guys are doing your own research. I also recommend never sending out um, Ethereum to anybody's email address or anything saying that they're going to team view in or set up a proxy for you. That's just not how this stuff's done. Um, typically, that is going to be a good way to um, lose Ethereum and those types of things. Don't trust anyone. But what we're talking with you today is about solo mining, mining proxies, Ethereum proxies in general. Um, back in August, we rented hash at Mining Rig Rentals. And as always, solo mining is not recommended because it's all or nothing, guys. The upper right-hand corner, we're going to have links to videos, like I said, talking with you about that. Um, renting hash rate to solo mine is not recommended, um, but we did the ramp and run, and we were able to find 13 solo blocks um, in the month of August. Now, it cost us just about 13 um, blocks worth of Ethereum to do that, so it's very expensive to rent hash and these types of things. But that's not what we're here to talk with you guys about today. We're talking with you about um, proxy mining with Ethereum. In general, once again, thank you to iMind Blocks for having a video here that shows us how to set up a, a dwarf um, pool um, proxy stratum. Um, we are able to um, use that same um, stratum program um, to set up a solo mining proxy as well as standard pool proxies for any mining pools. So there are other proxy miners out there. You can actually build your own. Um, there's custom stuff. Like I said, we were going to go back to this, but... Um, special proxy server that filters out low difficulty shares. Once again, we are going to come back to that. But if you guys head over to Google and try to Google Ethereum proxy mining, you're not going to find a whole lot. 
That's why it's very difficult. Miners in general, especially when something's good, might try to keep things to themselves. Um, but let's talk with you about proxy mining. Um, but we got to talk with you about the Ethereum network to kind of get to proxy mining. If you head over to miningpoolstats.stream, and as always in the description down below, we got links to all this stuff so you guys can do your own research. It's very important to do your own research. And once again, please do not send Ethereum to anyone telling you they're going to set up a proxy or they're going to help you get more blocks. Blocks are never guaranteed. No one can guarantee a block. Blocks. Please don't send your coins to anyone promising you that. That's just a bunch of bullshit. Um, but head over to miningpoolstats.stream and you are going to be able to find mining pools. Okay. Us miners, we use GPU mining rigs to connect to mining pools. These mining pools connect to the network. Currently, there's over 300,000 miners connected to the Ethereum network trying to find Ethereum blocks. Well, we currently use to miners.com their ethereum mining pool to connect our gpu mining rigs so one of the things i want to show you here is this is an ethereum solo mining proxy running we have no problem getting that run that that's easy um, but what this mining proxy is is basically a way for you to connect to the network a little quicker but let's really get into it here. Now, guys, I'm sorry this drawing is very crude. But once again, what we're talking with you guys about today is proxy mining in regards to Ethereum, in regards to Ethereum solo mining. So when we connect to the Ethereum network, we have to connect to a mining pool. Well, we typically connect to twominers.com, but there are all sorts of other mining pools out there, guys. Um, Solopool.org, ETHPool. Um, F2 pool, all sorts of different mining pools. But we as miners, we currently have five GPU mining rigs running on HiveOS connecting to twominers.com. And that's how we get information from the Ethereum network. So all of us miners, like I said there, connect to a mining pool. And then we all work together solving blocks. Well, when we're sending data from our miners to the block, depending on how close we are, that can take a lot of time, lots of time. Well, while we're sending data to and from trying to find shares and such, high difficulty, low difficulty shares, so are all these other miners. They're all trying to find them as well. Well, we can lose time on that, and time is money when it's comes to mining when it comes to solo mining especially the tiniest little hunt hair of a second can make you find an uncle and what i mean by that is an uncle is when two people find the same block at the same time well if either one of them would have been able to find that share that much quicker the high difficulty share the other person wouldn't have found it at the same time and they would have gotten the whole reward remember solo mining is all or nothing we highly recommend not doing it we've had lots of videos and like i said in the description upper right hand corner we'll have links to those videos showing you why solo mining is not recommended so when we're connecting to a mining pool we have our mining rigs they connect to the pool directly lots of time is lost in translation there and everybody's fighting for the block well that mining proxy what that does is that connects to the pool for you so we've got the mining proxy on our own network and all of our miners are connecting to that proxy so our distance is really short, so our time connecting is very, very, very short. Our, our ping is nil to nothing. Well, what that does is that allows us to connect to the proxy and, and find more shares, higher difficulty shares that much quicker because we aren't dealing with old sh old blocks that the net that the 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 pool has found that they have to wrap up if that makes sense when the pool finds a block they got to finish wrapping everything up everyone else is on the newest block well if you're on the proxy when you're connecting to the proxy you're always on the newest block because that's always keeping you as connected to the network as possible i hope that makes sense we might be just talking a bunch of jibber jabber guys comment down below let us know what you think about it but if you guys like these videos you better hit the thumbs up if you're new to the channel please give us that subscription that way other people can see these kinds of videos but another thing that the proxy can do is you can dial the proxy in so that you're only finding high difficulty shares well those high difficulty shares are what solve the block not the low difficulty one those low difficulty ones are what everyone else is 
earning their block shares for and stuff, the, the piddly literally stuff. The highest difficulty shares, there's very few of those on the block. The higher the difficulty share the find, the closer you are to solving the block. When you solve the block, you get the reward. When you're solo mining, you get all of that. So that's why proxy mining can be beneficial to people. Another thing you can do with a proxy miner is you can actually mask your hash rate. And what I mean by that is if you've got it dialed down to where you're only finding high difficulty shares, you technically your hash rate's very low. So it's going to come on pool side like you have not very many miners there. That's what this person's doing here. They've got a mining proxy to where they're only finding high difficulty shares. They aren't finding very many, but the ones they find are the blocks. Hope that makes sense. So that's what we've been talking with you guys today is about proxy mining in general, proxy mining in regards to Ethereum and Ethereum solo mining. If you're connecting to the proxy pool and you have your proxy pool set for high difficulty shares, you're only finding block solving shares. You won't find a lot of shares, but the ones you find will pay out. Now, can you connect your mining rig rentals to your mining proxy at the house? I'm sure you can, but that's high level stuff. Mining proxies would be for my five rigs at our remote garden location. I'd want to connect to my proxy here on my network. And what that's going to allow is that's going to allow us to solve the blocks and everything a lot quicker and get that information back to the pool quicker, thus getting it back to the blockchain in turn giving us our best chance to find blocks. Once again, solo mining is not recommended. Do not pay someone to set you up a solo mining proxy. If you have one rig, a solo mining proxy may not help you. Luck is everything, guys. Luck is everything. Please don't send your Ethereum to someone stating that they can guarantee you finding solo blocks through a solo proxy. Do your own research. But if I am using all my rigs to connect to a mining pool they aren't kind of working together and there's a lot of distance in between that pool if I'm connected to a proxy well and the proxy has the latest block information in theory we kind of are working together there's lots of different things you can set that proxy up to do I by no means am a wizard to do that but what we've been showing you a little bit is on what a proxy is and what it is in regards to the Ethereum network and solo mining. If you guys like these videos, give us a thumbs up, comment down below, let us what, know what you like, let us know what you don't like about it. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscription bell. If you guys like these kinds of videos, you can also, um, if you're new to the channel, check out some of our other videos over here on YouTube. We've got lots of fun different videos on all sorts of different how to's, latest hardware. Um, all sorts of fun things there over on Not Your Normal Miner on our YouTube channel. In the description down below, like I said, we've got links to all this stuff. You can also follow us over on Twitter. That way you can keep up with our latest and greatest shenanigans. You want to support the channel because we are not monetized and we do not use affiliate links. Head over to Not Your Normal Miner Discord. And like I said, in the description down below, we've got links to that. Head over to the water cooler. You can pick up these HODL Bitcoins license plates. We ship those to you. We'll ship them anywhere to the U.S. I mean, figure out how to get those over there. You can also head over to teespring.com. Check out Not Your Normal Miners hash merch market so you can pick up some of your favorite Not Your Normal Miner swag from our Bitcoin accepted here line. Also, um, if you appreciate the work that we do and you want to help us out since we are full time all the time on our own now, you can send us some of your favorite coin, notyournormalminer.coinrequest.io. Wrapping it up, we've been talking with you today about proxy mining, showing you what proxy mining is as in regards to you connecting to the network, connecting to the mining pools, connecting to the Ethereum network. And we've also shown you a proxy miner, actually a solo proxy miner running on our um, gaming editing mining rig that you see here over our right hand shoulder. My name's Wes. I'm not your normal miner. We've been talking with you today about proxy mining. We really appreciate your time. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video. Comment down below. Let us know what you think. Thank you.